Hi, uh, my name is Brigitta, and today I'm going to do uh, kind of a video of something I've never done before. Um, I'm going to be making a hat uh, out of dog hair. Um, unusual thing. Um, around a year ago, I um, had a guest come over and we were talking about cat hair, how it mats up, and joking about making uh, something out of it. Well, um, Martin has uh, brushed his lovely dog, Skittles, uh, and for about a year has been collecting uh, the dog hair. Well, unfortunately, Skittles has now passed, and um, I am now going to be trying to make uh, a hat for Martin out of Skittles hair. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today, and have no idea how it's going to turn out, but um, we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, <laughs> thanks for joining me. So it's a beautiful sunny day at the end of the day. I just thought I would come outside and try and uh, deal with this um, fur from Skittles. Uh, so what I've got here, um, this has been taken off the dog and it's all kind of matted up here. What I'm going to do is I've got a cat brush or a dog brush two of them here. I'm just going to straighten out the fibers, um, kind of like carding, and um, we'll get the fibers a little bit more organized. So that's kind of what it looks like there. I'm just going to collect this. And save up enough of this so I can start making Martin a hat from his beloved Skittles. Doing it outside because uh, a lot of loose hairs are going everywhere and outside would be a good place to do it. Okay, well, that's enough of that, and um, I'll finish it off, and we'll see what happens next. So this is kind of what I <clears throat> have ended up with, um, kind of loosely organized. Um, usually need about six ounces to make a hat. I'm not sure I have enough of it here. Um, so I think I might be using some alternate uh, colors um, and some other kind of wool. This kind of thing here um, just to ensure that I have uh, enough. And I think I'm going to make it on this type of a form. And we'll just see how it goes.
Okay, I got two layers done on each side. I usually do six. And so it looks like I will have to uh, add another, add some actual wool to this project. Um, not sure what I'm going to do, but um, I'll try that and we'll see what happens. Okay, this is what I've come up with. Uh, I guess it's going to be my top and final layer. I used some um, just scraps of what I had left. Um, I got some blue, a couple different types of blue here that I used, and I finished it off with a few uh, more pieces of uh, Skittles here on the outside that you can see. <clears throat> I've only done uh, uh, two layers of this nicer material, but I think four and all is going to be fine. Uh, I just need to finish off the other side. Um, and then um, after I get it all felted up and onto the block, I'll show you uh, what it looks like. Okay, this is the dried hat. Uh, turned out pretty well, I think. Um, I'll take it off the form and show you what the inside looks like. Okay, so I've taken the hat off the form and <coughs> it turned out really quite uh, thick, even though I only used um, four layers. Um, a lot of <coughs> Skittles is kind of coming through, a little bit of loose fibers here, but the inside turned out really nice. It's actually, I think, quite a nice color now, now that it's all m m mixed together. So I will be trimming off uh, this excess here and then uh, hemming up the edge. And um, hopefully Martin will like his new Skittles hat. Um, we'll see how it goes. So um, you never know, you could try it with your own material. Uh, good luck.